The Google Home is an amazing virtual assistant that is arguably the best one on the market right now. In this guide, we will show you how you can build your own Google Home using our favorite do it all, the Raspberry Pi. For this project, you will need a Raspberry Pi. We will be using the Freebie Plus model. A micro SD card of at least 8GB. A speaker to hear the response from the Google Assistant. A microphone with a USB DAC since the Raspberry Pi does not have an analog input for microphones. A functional PC to interact with the Pi. Before getting started on the Raspberry Pi, we need to register our project on Google's developer page. Firstly, head on to the Google Console Actions dashboard using the URL on screen. Log in using your Google account and agree to the terms of use to use the service. Now, create a new project by clicking on the New Project button. Enter your project name and your region details to create the project. In a new tab, head over to the Google Developers Console to enable the Google Assistant API. Select your project by clicking on the drop-down menu on the top left part of your screen. Now click on Enable to enable the API. Head back to the Action Dashboard tab and find and click on the Device Registration option. Don't close the Developers tab yet because we will need it again. Click on Register Model and enter the details of your Raspberry Pi. Make sure you note down the model ID given as you will need it later on in this tutorial. Click on Register Model and download the credentials files on the next screen. You will need this one too at a later stage. Click on Next and click on Save Traits. Your Raspberry Pi is now registered to be used with the Google Assistant. Now head back to the Developers tab and click on Credentials. Then head over to the Consent screen tab. Choose your email address from the drop-down menu and click on Save. In a new tab, head over to the Activity Controls of your account using the given URL. Here, you will need to activate the following controls for your assistant to function properly. Now, you're all set to set up the assistant on your Raspberry Pi. Power up your Raspberry Pi and connect your speaker and your microphone to the Raspberry Pi. We will begin by locating the card number and device number of the speaker and mic on the Raspberry Pi. We will use the A record command to locate the microphone. Note down the card and device numbers. 
To locate the speaker, we will use the A play command. Again, we jot down the card and device numbers. Now, we need to input these locations in our A sound RC file, which we can do in our nano editor using the following command. Make sure you replace the card number and device numbers properly. Save by pressing Ctrl plus X, then Y, and finally Enter. Now, before we move on to download the assistant, let's test out our audio devices to see if they're working properly. We can type in the speaker test command to see if our speaker is giving a response. You should hear the following sound. Left, front, left, front, left, front, left, front. Now, to test our microphone, we will record a small 5 second recording using our A record command and play it back using the A play command. You should hear back your recording at this point. Now that we are sure that our speaker and microphone are functioning, we can download and set up our Raspberry Pi Assistant. Let's first update our repositories using the update command. Let's now create a directory to store our credentials that we downloaded earlier on. Using the nano editor, we can create and open the credentials.json file. We need to copy and paste the contents of the file we downloaded earlier on in this credentials file. Locate your downloaded file and open it with a text editor. Copy everything and paste it in the terminal. Hit Ctrl and X, then Y and Enter to save. Now, we can start installing the dependencies the project relies on. We need to install the Python 3 virtual environment using the following command. To enable it, we can use the following command. We will now install the latest versions of PIP and setup tools. To enter our new Python environment, we run the following command in the terminal. Now we will install the Google Assistant library using these two commands. After installing everything, we now need to authorize the Raspberry Pi so that it is able to use the Google Assistant. Run the following command to install the Python authorization tool. Let's paste the following piece of code into the terminal to install the Google Authentication Library. You can find the code in the description below. You are now presented with a very long URL which you need to copy and paste in your web browser. Log into your Google account that you used at the beginning of this project and you will obtain a code that you need to copy and paste back into the terminal.
Upon successful authentication, you are now ready to use the Google Assistant. Type in the following command in the Python environment to access your new assistant. Just replace the project ID tag by your project ID and the model ID tag by the ID you copied earlier on. If you don't know the project ID, you can head over to the project settings in the Actions Console website to find out. Press enter each time you want to say a new command and your Raspberry Pi will do her best to attend to your queries. We are now ready to put the Raspberry Pi to the test. Let's get asking. Okay Google, what is the weather going to be like tomorrow? In the Pamplemousses district tomorrow, there will be showers with a high of 79 and a low of 70. Okay Google, tell me a joke. Why does a duck have tail feathers? To cover its butt quack. Ha ha ha. Okay Google, what is the score of the Man City game? Today, Manchester City tied against Tottenham 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Okay Google. Who is Nikola Tesla? According to Wikipedia, Nikola Tesla was a Serbian-American inventor, electrical engineer, mechanical engineer, and futurist who is best known for his contributions to the design of the modern alternating current electricity supply system. Okay, thanks Google. Happy to help. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Enjoy your new Google Assistant on the Raspberry Pi and as always guys, keep dialing pixels.